Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna play with our laser a little bit and uh, practice etching on glass. Mm -hmm. All right guys, we're gonna start on the rotary. Uh, taking the front and back pieces off that came with it. This little piece. Um, gonna have these pieces 3D printed so that it's gonna be a little bit more adjustable. Uh, the front piece was just a stop, so it's going to have an actual wheel on it to hold it. Uh, it's just going to be a whole lot better for uh, using different pieces. It called for, I did get these off of Thingverse, and it called for M4. So I've bought a bunch of M4. It also has 3 and 5 in it. Uh, link in the description. And uh, let's start getting it together. Basically what I'm going to do, put all of these M4s in the section that is printed out that they fit in. So, got a lot of these to do, so let's get going. So these pieces are going to have the wheels on it, and it called for an M4, which is not tight. These are actually an M5. Fits, doesn't shake around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up an M5 nut, and then I'm going to let it melt and press itself into here. So let's get the torch out and heat this up. Alright, I'm using needle nose. Obviously don't touch it. It's gonna get really hot really quickly. Be careful. It's not gonna take a whole lot. Line it up. We're just going to grab these, squeeze it on down in. And perfect. You have to clear out just a little bit so that a bolt will go through and we're good to go. Alright, this is what it's going to look like after you press it on. And then I've got the M5 through it. I did order extra bearing wheels and I ordered the wrong ones. So these are V'd in the middle. The normal ones are flat. So I use both of the flat ones where I can and then I just need one extra. So now that we've got all of the nuts in, let's go ahead and put it together. I'll just be using different lengths where necessary. But the first piece is gonna go on like this. So this goes on and then it is adjustable forward and back, loosening and tightening it. And then it's going to go on right here. Now I'm gonna get the other two pieces on before I put it there. All right. Now we take two of the rollers and we put them on here. All right, so the M5 into here, and I'm gonna use both of the ones that came with it for the back parts, because I think that'll be a little bit smoother on them. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like, and this slides right into here, and we can tighten up those allens. Now, one of the reasons that I liked this design over some of the other ones I found is that I, if I've got something super short, I should be able to take this, flip it around, and put it on this side so that I can shorten up where it's going to hold as opposed to 
this is as far as I can get it in right now. If I do need it on the other side, all I'd have to do is take these out and flip this piece around and then the wheels are on the other side. Now the wheels can be adjusted in and out and up and down. For the front one, it's gonna be a similar setup. Except the front one's only gonna have one vertical piece. All right, so I actually played around with the settings a little bit and I flipped it around so that it can be adjusted in. This is a fairly short glass, so it needed to be on this side. So we're just gonna adjust this until we get the cup to sit level where it's going to laser. All right, so I've adjusted the back wheels where we now have this level. So the cup's level right here. I'm gonna tighten it down. And then the front wheel is actually over here and it rides on the inside of the cup. So when I tighten that down, so now as everything turns, the cup's not allowed to wander front or back. It's held really still. All right, we're gonna try three different um, techniques with using the laser on our glass. We're gonna use some cold galvanizing compound on one side, some black acrylic paint on another, and just plain old masking tape on the third, and then we'll do a test run on all of them and see what works best. All right, we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and put it on the laser.
Our techniques that we use, the masking tape literally did nothing with the power scale. Yeah, it's just not a, a strong enough laser. Dioids aren't gonna do it. Um, most likely you'd have to go to a CO2 and then that would, that would work. But with a diode, you kind of have to trick it a little bit. Uh, the black acrylic paint did great. Black acrylic paint did best, uh, um, in so, our opinion. Yeah, yeah, a little streaky from how I streaked the uh, paint with a paintbrush. Yeah, so that's going to be better to spray on uh, if you can find a good one. Or just be super careful and thin without... Thin. <laughs> um, yeah, thin without any streaks. Yeah. Which is doable, just have to be careful. Yeah. And then this was the um, cold galvanizing compound. Yeah, and this this turned out pretty awesome. It's just a different look. Uh, and you can see uh, the first one is no air assist, and it's pretty black down here. So if you want to get kind of a black look on it, this, this is cool, and it feels great. It's in the glass. It's not jumping up at all on you. And then 100%, which we really don't want to run the laser at 100% because you can burn it out, uh, looks basically like 70% with the acrylic paint. And with air assist on, man, it turns out really cool black. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably try this on something later when we want it <laughs> to be black. But so yeah, what we ended up using that we liked the best for this particular cut is just the acrylic paint, mm -hmm. uh, which we actually tried first a couple of different ones of these. This is non-acrylic paint, it's just spray paint. Uh, the 2K with primer that we're going to use on canvases. I had some, so I wanted to test it. Uh, it doesn't look good either. <laughs> it um, does not wash off well. Yeah, it didn't wash off well either. Acrylic paint though, thin, careful with it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Uh, I ran this at 70% uh, and about, I think, 750 uh, millimeters per minute. And I actually had to increase um, the lines on it because it was making weird little jumps when the line is mm. too straight or not quite straight enough. Um, so I added more lines in it to get the detail in there that we wanted. So after doing that, I uh, went ahead and threw it on the Glen Karen and the cards. Now this came out pretty well too, except it is starting to warp a little bit where the glass bubbles. I did sit it up as good as I can to get it leveled. It's just not quite enough. So to do that, uh, you'll have to play in light burn and shrink down this part so that when it gets closer to the laser, um, it'll be a little bit smaller and we'll give you the right proportion. This turned out great. It was a little streaky, which you can see in there when you're real close, but it looks awesome. It cut perfect mm -hmm. and we'll get some whiskey in this. No, if you have any questions or comments on any of this, mm -hmm. uh, just throw it down there for us. We'll also have some links in the description uh, for what we actually used. And um, if you have other things that you've used that you've loved, let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll, we'll try things out and mm -hmm. see what works best. So thanks for coming. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and we will see, see you guys next time. time.